Okay, so today I want to talk about proportional and non-proportional situations. Um, we have actually been looking at this most of the semester, but we're going to talk about it. You are welcome to read these notes, but I am going to walk you through some of these steps. Okay, remember if we're looking at a graph. Graphs are really easy to decide whether they're proportional or non-proportional. Because we said that in order to be proportional, um, you had to have a straight line, and it had to go through the origin. So the origin is 0, 0. Remember, sometimes they don't give us the full graph. They just give us some numbers. For this graph, that 0 right there is my origin. So if I'm looking at this graph, this line is linear because it's straight, and it goes through the origin. So this would be a proportional graph. Okay? Um, and we may abbreviate some so that we don't have to put it all in. I want to look at this table, and I'm going to try to move it over so that hopefully I can show you something on the calculator, and maybe you will be able to see it. I'm not sure with the way this is set up. Okay, we have learned how to put a table into the calculator. Okay, remember we hit stat, and then we hit edit. We are going to go through and we're going to delete these numbers that are in here. I'm going to delete. And I'm going to put the numbers that are in this graph, okay, so or in this table. Sorry, I've got a 4, a 6, and a 7. Let's try to put the right numbers in. Okay, then I'm going to move over and I'm going to put in a 20, a 30, and a 35. Remember, L1 is my X, L2 is my Y. I'm going to hit stat again. I'm going to move over to calc. I'm going to move down to number 4. Hit enter. I'm going to move down to calculate. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, this came up with A, which is actually my M, if you remember us talking about that. Um, my slope is 5. My Y intercept is 0. So if it goes through the y at zero, it is proportional. So if we put a table in our calculator and it gives us a b of zero or a y-intercept of zero, that means that the table is proportional, okay? So if it comes up with a zero, then we have a proportional table. So let's talk about that. No b or a b equals zero means that the table is proportional. Okay? That also works when I'm looking, let's look right here, at the equation. If you notice, I don't like that light doing that, I'm so sorry, um, but it's too dark if I don't have it on. If you notice, y equals 0.8x, but there's not a b, there's not a plus anything. Um, I just have my m, my slope. So again, if there's no b, that means that this equation is proportional. Okay, we're going to look at a couple together. This one, easy, easy, easy. We're looking at it. I need to see if it goes through the origin. It's a straight line, but does it go through the origin at zero? No, it does not. So this one is non, and I'm going to write P-R-O-P -P for proportional. Um, if you want to spell it out, you can. And the reason it's not proportional is because it does not go through the origin. I'm going to put origin down here. Okay? It doesn't go through the origin. It is not proportional. Okay. If I put this equation into my calculator, um, let's just go ahead and do it since we have time. Okay, we're going to clear that out. We are going to hit stat edit. 
we're going to delete these numbers. Okay, we're going to put in 3, 5, and 8. We're going to come over here and we're going to put in 36, 60, and 96. Did I hit enter? Nope, I didn't. Okay, then we're going to hit stat. We're going to move over to calc, down to 4. We're going to hit enter. We're going to move down to calculate. Okay, if I write this as an equation, my slope is 12 and I do not have a y-intercept. So, since I have a zero for my b, that means that this table is proportional And for a reason, I'm just going to write my equation. Y equals, and what was that, 12? My slope was 12, so it's 12x. Okay? Let's look at the next one. I'm going to show you something that you haven't done. I'm going to show you how to. I'm so sorry, I just dropped that. I'm going to show you how to put something into Y equals. Because Y equals X to the third, we don't know if that's proportional or not. So let's put that into y equals. Remember our x was up here behind the alpha, so we're going to put in the x. We use the house top, which is right here, to put in the 3. So that's x to the third. I hit y equals to get there. Down here, there's something that says graph. I'm going to hit graph. And if you look at that, it goes through 0, 0, but look, it's not straight. It kind of goes crazy. Okay, so it is not proportional, so I'm going to say non-proportional, and again, it is, it is non-proportional because it is not linear, okay? So since that's not linear, it's not proportional. Okay, the last one we're going to look at is one like the one above. We have Q equals 4B. Okay, I know that looks confusing, but what I'm looking for is this plus something out here. And because there's not one, it's plus zero, which means that I go through the origin at zero because my y-intercept is zero. So this is actually proportional. And for your reason, you can just put because b equals zero. Okay, if you have any questions about this or how to use the calculator, um, come see me during tutoring and we'll work on it.